has long been considered one of the world's most precious metals. It's a symbol of wealth and power, but for millions of people, it's a source of pain and destruction. Every day, men and women across the globe are searching for gold without any formal training or tools. Many of the methods used by artisanal miners are hazardous to their health and the environment. Mercury pollution is one of the biggest problems facing these miners. Marcelo Vega is an expert in artisanal mining. The university professor has more than 30 years of experience in the mining industry, and together with the United Nations, Vega spearheaded the Global Mercury Project. The aim was to reduce the use of mercury in small-scale and artisanal mining. Artisanal mining now, they use 30% of the entire mercury produced in the world. All the vapors contaminate themselves, contaminate the families, and uh, it's uh, horrible. A third of the world's gold comes from artisanal miners, many who live on less than a dollar per day. These are people who spend most of their time searching for gold to help feed their families. Researchers say the best way to help improve their lives is to improve the method of gold recovery. Typically what will happen with an artisanal miner is they will use processes that involve mercury um, and through various steps in the process they're being exposed to the mercury, whether they're handling it when it's being amalgamated with the gold or whether they're burning it off afterwards and they're breathing in these mercury vapors, it's extremely toxic and also with these processes they lose a lot of the gold that's available. And while gold recovery equipment has been around for decades, until now it's largely been used by major mining companies who can afford to operate the heavy duty machinery, leaving artisanal miners to continue using very basic and unsafe practices. A large push on the project was to empower the miners to be able to do their processing on their own, so they're not having to bend to the whim of these um, milling center operators where they're paying a, a fee and then giving them effectively 80% of the gold that they, that they earned to collect on his own. So we wanted to put the technology in the hands of the miner, him or herself, so they could do their own processing. They, they were in possession of their tailings. They knew what was coming in, what was coming out, um, and, and had the, the ability to, to control the process on their own. After hearing about the plight of artisanal miners, Falcon concentrators began developing a technology that could be used in small-scale mining. The BC-based mining company, which manufactures large industrial-scale gravity concentrators, spent five years researching and developing this new product called the ICON, which stands for Individual Concentrator. It's based on the same technology and principles that has made their larger machines successful all over the world. I've been to site and I see what, how these people work and, and what they wear and what they use and it's a very tough life. And any piece of equipment that can assist them will be a huge benefit, I think, to their life. What the icon does is it creates an artificially high g-force by spinning around as any, as any centrifuge does. And what happens is the, the heavier particles are sent to the outer bowl wall, right up the wall and are collected in the top rings of the icon and of our industrial machines. And that's where a rich, rich concentrate resides. And after you've run a, a certain amount of material for a certain amount of time, you rinse it out and you collect this rich concentrate. So really all it's doing is enhancing the force of gravity, magnifying those specific gravity differences and making that separation easier. One of Falcon's international icon distributors is located in California. We're here in Sacramento where Tykert Aggregates runs an icon pilot project. We brought an icon here so that people could come in and run test samples to evaluate the machine. I think it's great for what it's designed for. It's fabulous. Whoever came up with it was a brilliant idea. Small-scale miners who have a mineral processing background are also seeing the benefit of owning an icon. At just the fraction of the cost of large-scale equipment, the eye concentrator is an affordable option. There's nothing on the market that compares to this piece of equipment. Uh, for this price, the Icon is, is just a phenomenal piece of equipment. It'll do two tons an hour. You run it for eight hours, that's 16 tons a day. So it's a huge step change in, in throughput in what you can process. Not only does it benefit people financially, it also benefits them environmentally and through their own health. I mean, they're no longer going to use mercury with this, with this type of process. 
The market is huge. It's a, a huge market there. If you just imagine 50 million people directly involved with this, and some of the guys that are going to have three, four, five machines, and uh, we just uh, came from Amazon now, and a lot of people just have, they want to have 40. You know, it's a quite amazing how this is multiplying, and uh, without any effort, you know, this machine is getting a big hit. My hope is this, that I, you have a distribution of this machine in every country, and I can see more and more people just using this machine. These people are not going away, and they can't be forgotten. You see this stuff firsthand, it, it's tough not to do anything about it. You know, it, it's really tough to walk away, clear it from your mind, and say, well, well, maybe somebody else will do something. You know, you see this stuff firsthand, and you, and you really feel a desire to, to make a difference and to help these people out. And I think that's, uh, that played a large part in, in the development of the icon. Falcon is committed to helping small-scale artisanal miners. For more information on Falcon concentrators, log on to concentrators.net.